Today's movie is The Last Man on Earth from 1964, starring Vincent Price. Woo, theme song. All right, so as always, if you do want to watch the movie, there are links below to see it. There's an affiliate link. Give me a couple cents. Now, this movie is black and white, but there's a colorized version out there. I've not watched it, but it's black and white. Watch the original black and white version if you can. All right, so, Last Man on Earth. This is based on a story by Richard Matheson. He is kind of most famous, I think, for the Twilight Zone episode, How to Serve Man, the Aliens Come. And the book is How to Serve Man. I won't say which story this is based off of because this is the first of three times this story has been made into a movie. And the late most more, most recent version actually has the title of the story. And so that might give away some of the plot elements. But I will say I really love this story. I love the book. I've read it a few times. And... This movie, I like quite a bit. Now, I'll be honest, Vincent Price is, isn't the most heroic guy, but it kind of works. And I'll also be honest, I've seen this before, so this time through, you know, may have fell asleep for 10 or 15 minutes, so I may be biased. Okay, what's it about? So, it's the far-flung future of the late 60s. One place I've saw, another place I saw, I said, took place in the, in the late 70s. Who knows? But a virus has killed everybody on Earth except for our hero, Vincent Price. But there are other people that the people that didn't get killed have been turned into vampires. They can't bear to see their image. It repels them. I need more mirrors. And this garlic's lost its pungency. Now, the book, they're pretty much straight-up vampires, more traditional. But in this movie, they're a lot more shuffly. And I've seen a quote from George Romero saying that Night of the Living Dead was, in, was inspired by the original story. But other people are like, these are kind of pretty much zombies, even though they call them vampires. So, But they're not. They definitely don't sparkle, unfortunately. And they're not like, I want to suck your blood. So they're kind of, they're more like zombies. So Vincent Price, every day he gets up. Another day to live through. Better get started. Sharpens up a few stakes because they do get killed by a stake to the heart. Goes around hunting houses, look trying to kill zombies. Or, or rather vampires. And in particular, he's trying to kill the group that come to his house. Because every night, he's in his house, and there are vampires outside yelling, Come out! Morgan! Come out! Come out! So, they are at least intelligent enough to talk. That way, Rawr, come out, and they're banging on the wall and stuff. But, they do have the traditional things. They're afraid of garlic, afraid of don't like mirrors, don't like crosses, things like that. So the movie is really kind of fun. Sort of like 28 Days Later, we get some nice shots of the deserted city. Now, this is a lot lower budget. I believe they shot this in Italy. But it's still interesting, so fun to see him driving around this empty city where there's nobody around. And through flashbacks, we're told about his family and his life, what it was like before when he was going through, living through the pandemic. Like I said, I did kind of fall asleep for a little bit, so it's not exactly the most action-packed movie, but I really do like it. I like the plot. I love the story. Like I said, I've read it a couple times, read it more than twice. And Vincent Price does a good job. The movie really has a great atmosphere of being alone. You know, there's a scene where he finds a dog, and it's like, oh, there's another living being. Alive. It's alive. And so that's really, you know, nice. We see that effectiveness. 
Um, I would say if you don't know what movie, other movie adapted the story, you don't know the story this is based on, then it's probably best to go see this um, fresh because that way you're not going to know any of the plot points coming up. You're not going to know any of the what's revealed in any of the flashbacks or anything like that. So I am going to give it four thumbs up. Vincent kicks some ass. He needs to get a wristwatch. We are all legend. So yeah, still working on that glare. I may have to get up and turn off some light bulbs and see what's going on. But if you want me to get up on a ladder, like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.